Good Thursday morning to you ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty 786-09, alive and in color from Capitan, New Mexico, where the temperature is. Hey Google, what's the temperature? The current temperature in Capitan is 30 degrees. Well, that's close. It's actually 27 according to my indoor-outdoor temperature gauge. <coughs> and I trust it a little more than that because I don't know where that comes from. Also, I will say this though. <coughs> I got the weather bug app and oh for my phone and uh and it's spot on i mean it shows uh right now it shows uh actually it shows 25 so it's reading a little lower than the actual but it uh, seems to be better than whatever comes with my android pixel phone but anyway what else today is the first day of the rest of your life make it a good one it's the day after yesterday day before tomorrow right now and right now just went poof so if there's anything you want to do particularly in march since this is march the 31st you better be busy doing it okay but anyway tomorrow is april fool's day so uh, and then on midnight tomorrow night they legalize recreational pot marijuana in new mexico won't that be wonderful but anyway uh, what else? Been living in an RV a long time. This is a Class C motorhome. I'm in Capitan, New Mexico on some property I own. Hey Google, tell us a joke. <clears throat> what do you call a belt made of watches? A waste of time. I hear you. That's a biggie. That's a big old biggie. The noon video will be? I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll go get my glasses in Ruidoso. I don't know. I got me some more. I got me some prescription glasses, as some of you may know. On February the seventh, I had cataract surgery in my right eye. I mean, I got me a reading lens or close-up monofocal lens, and yeah, I'm gonna get me some re prescription glasses. Is what I'm gonna do. But be that as it may, never worry about what you cannot change. This is on, was on the golf cart, an old video I did on my Yamaha uh, golf cart <clears throat> that I've sold. I no longer have it, and I kept it for a whole month. Anyway, Russell Sherwood, now you need to get a new fishing pole. That cr creek looks like a good one to catch a mess of fish. Uh, I don't fish. Uh, I haven't uh, been a fisherman ever, actually, And uh, but good uh, for those of you that enjoy it, good. Thank you, Russell. Or Anthony Hornbeck on the uh, temperature indoor outdoor thing uh, says data at its source that's correct yeah get your temperature where you are then you can make a decision on what you're going to wear <clears throat> or what you're going to do or whatever this is on the home depot thing the tiny home mifo the most expensive part of a home is the heat jet air i don't know <coughs> what the most expensive part uh, of the home is but Thank you for your input. To see to go south, got two. Uh, one is a shout out to Levi. Good. The other one is New Mexico legalized weed. Georgia will never. Georgia is the buckle of the Bible Belt. No, I hear you. In all the Bible Belt states. See, Texas, the Bible Belt runs through the Dallas, Fort Worth, over to East Texas area, and that is what they call the Bible Belt in Texas. And uh, but I think Texas will eventually legalize it probably angie thomas good morning it is brisk and windy this morning yeah it was windy across most of the southwestern or southern usa i think it was pretty windy here yesterday too for sure firewood time two uh this is on the tiny home code requires two by six in this area okay susan moorfield i like your jacket yeah i got that in uh, ruidoso when i was waiting for my uh, eye doctor's appointment and yeah it was on sale it's really comfortable too I mean it's really uh yeah it, it'll come in really handy for those days where it's just kind of cool you know what I mean uh, Sharon Miller love tiny homes yeah a lot of people do apparently uh, this is on uh, the steaming bean or the person's name is the steaming bean on the temp gauge up here in my village in northern Saskatchewan I have the great fortune living close to a top-notch weather station you might feel that our long cold winters might be too much, but the key is to dress in layers and take up ice fishing or cribbage. Learn to adapt. No, you're right. <clears throat> you're right. You adapt to uh, cold and heat. 
And the only problem with heat is you can't layer on clothes. You you got to basically wear very little. Boondocking with Dennis, excellent comment calls. I always enjoy the positivity and sense of humor. Uh, well, you know, it is what it is, Dennis. Thank you. And check out Dennis's channel on YouTube. He uh, lives in a pickup truck along the Gulf Coast of Texas, in the Rockport, Texas area. Boondocking with Dennis again. Good morning, Rusty. It looks like a piece, fine piece of equipment. Thanks for the information. Well, it, it works for me, Dennis. Thank you. Uh, this person's name is question mark five hours ago only in America the home tiny home <clears throat> And this was at uh, uh, discount tire tire balancing Alex Soto says oh, yeah piercings not dyed hair and clean cut really make them tires roll nicer I guess you know, I don't know. I mean uh, you do you and they do them uh, This is on the tiny home finally you can buy a home at Home Depot. Yeah, Taylor Griffin, I think's the person's name. Uh, James Sams on comment call. Howdy, goat man. I found gas here in southern Indiana today for three fifty nine a gallon. It sure pays to watch the news. Yeah, it does. And then the goat tells you thank you for that. Yeah, let me see what gas prices are doing today. Uh, they dropped from one hundred and twenty six down to ninety six, and then uh, they bounced back up to. Uh, about 107 the other day or yesterday and today they're at 102 it's down five dollars a barrel gasoline's 320 so yeah we'll probably see some 350s now not in my area but in your area jag jag sheesh made a good made my day good video thank you jag jag this is oh, that was on a tiny home wtbm 123 on on the temperature thing cool yeah this is on the Dometic CF-18 refrigerator, the 12-volt fridge. David Lewis says $579 for the refrigerator from Dometic. Yeah, if you uh, if you want a 12-volt refrigerator, that, that's a good one. Now, they make other ones now. That was a long time ago. You know, they make some now that are cheaper and much more efficient, apparently. Uh, Margaret Stafford says gas is $385 today here in central Kentucky. <clears throat> yeah, it's 419 here. That's the cheapest you can find. RV Living with the Geezer. Check that channel out on YouTube. He's out in the Fort Davis, Texas area, out in the Big Bend area, sort of. Says, wow, that gas is higher than Fort Davis, still 418. When they're the only station in town, they know they've got you by the you-know-what. Yeah, that's true, and, and that happens out there at Alpine and Fort Davis. And I know, I've been out there. Mm-hmm. But here it's 419. That's the cheapest you can find around here that I've seen. Uh, that's in Carrizozo, New Mexico, and Ruidoso. Here in Capitan, it's 439, 20 cents a gallon higher than anybody, because there's only one gas station. John Delivio, I need tiny home for a poor man like me. Go for it. This is Jack J. Cool video talk on my first video, September the 20th, 2011. Yeah. Crazy, isn't it? That's a long time ago, wasn't it? And then the next one that Jack was watching was Kennedy, Texas, my old hometown. He says gas was 236 in this video, November 4th, 2018. Yeah, that's four years ago, and uh, it's, it's about doubled, isn't it? It'll come down a little bit. A gamer whiz, if it were plywood or stone on the floor better, particle board means it might get damaged and wet. Could, 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 could. This is on... What, uh, the temperature gauge thing. Rita Richardson, good information, R Rusty. I may buy one from your site. I love going to get coffee when it's raining, too. Well, it was just a cold, windy day, man. I just had a... I've been drinking about two cups of coffee a month now. And, uh, yeah, it tastes pretty good. I, I, I mix it up pretty good. I put some, put, put some of that, what do they call it? It's not vanilla. Well, it is. It's vanilla something. But, anyway, it's pretty good. Uh, this is Ken P.A. He left a link to, he says, this is my favorite video of yours. All right, so check that link out. I don't know where it's going. Uh, this is Outcast 1 uh, temperature thing. He says, is that Levi's gas station? <coughs> I don't know. Maybe it is. I don't know. It is named Brewer. Uh, Carl Richards, uh, question, I, do, I don't know anything about converting. This is on AC to DC power con converter. Of 110 to 12 volt so I got 110 LED light strips waterproof to run down 
I want to run him down the underside of my 53 foot semi trailer. Is there a way to, I don't know, uh, Carl, I'm not an electrician. Thank you, Carl, good luck. Eileen Tool, nice gadget, yeah, on the temperature thing, yeah, same person. Says you must pay a lot to insure all your vehicles. I'm 83 and pay $1,600 a year. Uh, actually, I don't. I pay uh, for for all three of my vehicles. Let's see, it's uh, 150 for the Hyundai, uh, 250 for the uh, Spark is 400. I pay a thousand dollars a year for all of my vehicles, or all the the, the three that I have. Yes, thousand dollars a year. I get every discount they've got. Says there is no insurance on my car. Uh, here you go. This person, Amblade, says I pay $45 a month, $43 a month at uh, Allstate. Says he's been with them for 25 years. So, uh, yeah, well, you know, I don't know. Everybody gets a different rate based on their driving record, actually. That's what it is and what kind of car. Uh, Rust, uh, this is Greg Prince. Rusty, I'm flying down to Fort Myers from Ohio right now. My pops fell. Anyway, <clears throat> He's 87. Yeah, that happens as you get older. Uh, I'll, that'll happen to me too, probably. Thank you, Greg. Uh, Aaron Ar Ariano says this is a million bucks nowadays on the tiny homes. It probably is. Uh, here we go. This is on the temperature thing. This is Joe Blow. He says, uh, Rusty, the outdoor monitor cannot get wet. Once it gets wet, all you have is an indoor thermometer. Looks much like mine. I have a 24 high low, both inside and out. <clears throat> yeah, it, uh, it, well, actually, it says, I've got the manual right here. Uh, it, said, it says, although the remote sensor is designed to be rainproof, the remote sensor must always be placed upwards so that rain won't get inside the sensor through the hole. Yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend putting it uh, where it would get rained on. I wouldn't recommend that at all. <clears throat> I think if you put it outside, you could put it in a Ziploc bag, and it would work. Well, it wouldn't do the humidity right, but the temperature would be okay, I think. Uh, or leave the Ziploc bag open at the bottom or something, you know what I mean? But anyway, uh, uh, Sturbird 2000, every dinky town has its pot store. I don't think so. They don't have them in Texas, for sure. <clears throat> this is Dale Pointer on the temp. Uh, he says, just an observation, Rusty is like a wise grandfather or cool uncle, always willing to share tales of days of old when a joint was a bar, an electric car had a twist key, when woke was being awake and pan was what you fried bacon and eggs in. Time, time does tell and Rusty's tales of yonder years are always told well at Beer 30. <clears throat> yeah, if I can think of a Beer 30 story i'll tell it tomorrow night uh yeah uh anyway uh thank you dale yeah all that's true you know I'm, I'm living in that world where the jargon was totally different uh curtis stewart wow what rusty the WhatsApp crypto scammers found your channel whatever I, I haven't seen them yet thank you dale pointer uh here's a poem from dale he says hot or cold humidity high humidity low inside or outside the gauge will show yeah, that's true. It's a pretty inexpensive way to know what it is outside in your home area. Jimmy D, for some reason, there's a discrepancy, LOL. You crack me up, Rusty, SMH. I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what that means. <clears throat> Scotty Hawaii TV, we have medical cannabis here in Hawaii. I think it should be legal for all adults. I do too. I don't see any reason why, you know, that should be illegal and and 180 proof alcohol uh, is legal, doesn't make any sense. Well, of course, most laws, if you examine them, don't make a lot of sense. Uh, hyperspace, hyperspace Explorer, didn't Sears and Roebuck used to do, ca do catalog homes? I'm told they did. <clears throat> Miss Mabel, nice fleece jacket, Rusty, looks very warm and co cozy. I love fleece material. Yeah, it's fleece. That's what it is. And it's extremely comfortable. And, and the zipper goes all the way down the front. You know what I mean? It, you can just unzip it, which that's why I bought it. Because some, some of them, the zippers just come down part of the way. This one, the zipper goes all the way down. It's like a little jacket. And no, it's fine. Fine, fine. Thank you, Miss Mabel. Snowy Bells. Uh, howdy, Rusty. 
dr nice driving in a cool day and having hot, hot coffee to enjoy. Have a nice evening. Take care. Well, I did and will. Thank you, Snowy Bells 12. NB. Thanks, Rusty, for showing us this nice device. It looks like it will be very helpful with the temperature. It sure seems like cooler there in Capitan. Coffee, yum, yum. Perfect for the weather. Enjoy. Here in El Paso, it's cloudy and windy with no rain. Have a nice afternoon. Yeah, it was windy in most of Texas yesterday and the day before. <clears throat> PhD RPH. Sir Rusty just purchased the Therm Pro from your link. Is it easy to set up? Yeah, nothing to it, man. You just put the battery in it and hang one and hang the other one. You're done. Barry Ho, uh, you should you could solve the housing crisis. You know, they think I built that tiny home, but I didn't. Uh, anyway, Arizona Nomad class. Oh, also, let me get back up here. Thank you, PhDRPH, for using the Amazon link. Thank you. And this is Arizona Nomad class B RV guy. Hi, Rusty. Or, hey, Rusty. I just ordered one. Thanks. I hope you use my link. Thank you very much. NB, Rusty, nice comment call. Thanks for taking us to Ruidoso, and I'm glad you're getting your new glasses. May you enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah, I always try to. Why? Because it's uh, my life, my day. And if I don't enjoy it, it's my fault. You know, can't blame anybody for uh, the things that go on, you know. <clears throat> Never worry about what you can't change. Says Rip Snorton says they already went up 23 bucks after you reviewed it. That's on the temperature gauge. <laughs> says prices fluctuate all the time on Amazon. CVX2 dog. Uh yeah, a lot of people, use, in fact, I was going to do a video about using Amazon on the road. I still may do it. Uh, the Dogman Chronicles, good solution to erroneous information from the Weather Service. Do it yourself. Thanks, Rusty. Yeah, it, uh, it, it's, it, you know, the Internet weather comes from one point in a lot of cities, and that point may be up on a hill or out of town or out at the airport, and it may not be 10 or 20 degrees from, from where you are. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Alvin Masso says, uh, great video, y'all on the temp thing, thank you. It was okay, it was, you know, I'm just passing along. Every I've got some more stuff coming, I'll show you. You know, the, the, actually, uh, uh, supposedly, uh, this uh, EB55 from Blue Eddy, they're sending me one of their newer ones, I don't know why, <clears throat> but they are. And I'll do a video, a, a review of it, and then there's a thing to cover the, the, the glass and the door on the RVs, you know, every... RV door has a little glass. Well, it's, it's kind of a that foggy looking glass stuff, and uh, they got a. I've I've got a cover that's made out of like that uh, bubble wrap stuff, you know, and uh, well, or whatever you call it, that aluminum foil stuff. <clears throat> and but it does. The wind blows it off all the time. Anyway, Mike H says I'm very happy to find you back at your new home base. Question: Did you sell your last home base where you had the little house and cover for your camper? No, I still have it. Or do you still have it to go to several months a year. No, I do six and six. Now, that's the plan right now. Can that change? Sure. No, I'll do six months here in Capitan <clears throat> and six months in Texas and may do a little traveling while I'm in New Mexico. We'll see. Mike H. on the, says, I do not feel sorry for those with diesel-fueled RVs. Uh, you know, they basically made their bed. Now they can sleep in it. Yeah, uh, diesel's over $5 a gallon here. Uh, yeah, no, there's a, but actually, uh, he says, it says gasoline's come down in, in, in the Arkansas. It says, I never understood Texas produces a lot of petroleum and gas prices are higher there than in Arkansas. It says, I wonder what Texas state tax is per gallon. Well, actually, the state tax in Texas is 20 cents, uh, the state tax. And then there's 18.4 cents of a federal tax on a gallon of gasoline in Texas, giving you a total of 38.4 cents per gallon in taxes. <clears throat> in California, the highest state tax in the United States, it's 51.1 cents per gallon. And that's why uh, it's, it's it's pretty high. Uh, anyway, uh, Debcor, Debbie Debcor 1 paid 397 for regular gas today in Louisiana. Uh, we'll do one more and then we'll shut her down here. Tom Sharp, thumbs up. Thank you very much. And with that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, Thumbs up. Carpe diem. Carpe diem means seize the day in Latin. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye. Buy anything you want. Anytime. But if you think about it, use the link. 
to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because it doesn't cost you one penny. Just click on the link in the description, go to Amazon and buy whatever you want, okay? You don't have to buy where it takes you. You, you just go to wherever and buy whatever you want. <clears throat> That's about as fair as you can be on this channel. Yeah, you don't have to pay a fee to watch me. And I tell you, you know, of course, every creator on YouTube has to do their own thing, and I'm proud of them for doing it, and a lot of them make a lot of money. And, uh, but, you know, uh, pigs get fat and hogs get slaughtered, and by that I mean don't get too greedy. Okay, but anyway, with that in mind, drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout kidney stones and it'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you won't want to eat so much as a snack you know what i mean and the only way to lose weight and keep it off and you know it and i know it is to eat less you know what i mean that's it <clears throat> get a smaller plate that helps and then what else uh take deep breaths breathe in really deep hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly why because that relieves stress and relieving stress does what Whew. lowers your blood pressure is that good for you you bet do it several times a day and then what else? <clears throat> uh, stretch. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Swivel, swivel, swivel. Walk, walk, walk. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Exercise your body once or twice a day, every single day. Why? Because you'll feel better immediately and you may live longer, healthier because of that one thing. And then what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes, your consciousness. All those little neurons in there are forming neural links, which is every single thought you have. So, <coughs> common sense says, add good ingredients. Ta-da, problem solved. Don't watch the news. Don't watch the news. Don't watch the news. Why? It's all negative crap. You know it. And it's mostly lies and propaganda. Hell, everybody. You know, it's all about money, okay? But anyway, accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. At ease, carry on, adios, bye-bye, hasta luego, vaya con Dios, aloha, until the noon video, which will be, I have no clue. Adios, amigos, bye-bye.